Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the switch on a DeWalt grinder. The switch on a tool like a grinder receives a lot of wear. Each time the grinder is turned on and off, the switch has to cycle. Eventually, the switch will wear out and you'll need to replace it. Fortunately, replacing the switch is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Switches, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. We'll begin by removing the side cover at the rear of the grinder. It's secured with five screws. Now remove the paddle and the lock button and separate the other half of the rear housing from the rest of the grinder. Now remove the two screws that hold the cord clamp in place. And I can pull away the cord and the switch from the housing. Next I'll remove the cord from the switch. It's secured with a couple of screws. There may be different types of connectors used. With the cord wires removed, now I can go ahead and remove the wires that go to the motor. I'll just use a pair of needle nose pliers to do this. Now we'll install the new switch. I'll begin with the motor wires. The spade connectors just slide back onto the tabs. Now I'll install the cord back onto the switch. Now I'll install the switch back into the housing. I'll also place the cord and the string relief back into the housing. I want to take a moment and tuck the wires down and out of the way so they don't get pinched when we re reassemble the rest of the grinder. Once everything's in place, I'll secure the cord and switch with the cord clamp. Now I can install the rear housing back to the rest of the grinder. I need to make sure that I have all the wires tucked out of the way so they don't get pinched. This lower wire runs behind the stud. It then goes down in the opening for the paddle switch. Now I can reinstall the lock button. You'll notice that there's a tab on one side of the lock button and that should go towards the armature. Followed by the paddle. And now we can finish up by reinstalling the other half of the rear housing. As I do this, I want to make sure that the posts on the switch and on the lock button all line up properly with the housing. Once I get it in place, I'll just test everything real quick to make sure it's right. And that looks good. So now I can re-secure the screws. Now 
Now you know how to replace the switch on your DeWalt grinder. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.